What is Dudu? A tolerated stay in Germany. Why do they call this Dudu? Is Dudu a document or a resident permit or a band of deportation or just for staying for a while and definitely I will be deported after some weeks or month? Hello, hello, guys. You are welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is Miss Nancy. If you are new to my channel, Elegant, in this channel, I do talk about Germany. New law, German hold law, what you need to know as a upcoming Germany. I do talk about it on this, my YouTube channel. So if you want to know anything about Germany, most especially if you are a, a refugee or you are an asylum seeker, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my video for a friend and family. It can be a helpful to a friend or a colleague of yours even if you don't need the information so elegant thank you today's video we are going to be talking about dudu because my two previous video i, I tell you elegant that uh, i will be coming out again to talk about uh, dudu okay what is dudu useful if you also have dudu what you can use as a, a dudu holder what what you can do with dudu because a lot of people do believe that having a dudu is just not document because it's not a resident permit it's not a one year but i know a lot of people who have dudu that have been in germany for like two years now they are using dudu and they recently they bring out this new law if you are hold the dudu for five good years you'll be eligible to have your a resident stay just for you to know that a lot of people do hold this doodoo for that long which is five years like if you hold a doodoo for five years for me it's a document as well because you are they leave you to just live in the country you can work with the doodoo you can also just go for a job um, training which is a uh, occupation in germany with your doodoo if you have money to educate yourself in fossil schule just to learn their language you can also do that with your doodoo doodoo is better than people that is asked to leave germany under one month one week two weeks and two months so if you are having a doodoo doodoo is always renewed pardon any background noise so elegant what is dudu so dudu is a tolerance state permit you will be seeing me looking down i'm just reading the information for you elegant if you are be watching me you know that that is how i do do my video so i read all the information and also explain to you elegant just for you to know what is going on in germany i don't want to make a mistake in any of my video i don't want to say a thing that will be apologizing in another different video so that is why i do write my information down and just give it to you raw just at its ease okay a doodoo is a tolerance stay permit Dudu is actually not a resident permit but rather a temporary stay permit okay yeah for me i would say Dudu is also a document but a lot of people do say no it's not a document you hold this document you can stay in germany three months and you can do a lot of things with this not everybody that has Dudu that can actually do what i said earlier not everybody that have Dudu that can uh, work and also go for a training or also go for their language because not everybody do do have different type so and uh, if i will not be able to explain the different type of doodle -doo that we have on this uh, very video because i don't want the video to be too long i will also explain that in another video doodle -doo is not a actually a resident permit as i said earlier but rather a templar resident document which enable you to stay in germany for a limited period of time those who hold a tolerance stay permit can legally reside in germany for the time but their obligation to list still stand a tolerance stay permit is usually very only for a few days weeks or months if the deportation impediments or other causes of issuing a dudu persist your tolerated stay permit will be extended otherwise it will not be prolonged so what they mean in this very place is that the reason they give you a uh, dudu is because maybe you are sick or you have other age charge or you are doing house bidding or you already have work okay so after receiving a dudu you are going to tell your lawyer or a counselor which are going to put you further so you are going to let them know that uh, i have a doodoo -doo, but i'm working or i have underage children or i'm 
in the house i'm doing the house bedroom so those people are the one that's going to just uh, write information to bother some migration you know to let them know that uh, this guy have a doodoo board is participating in so 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 and so so stuff so they look into your matter if they will give you time to see if you are really improving or if maybe you just want to hook them in the, in that aspect so if they see that you are not improving that will motivate them to go further and deport that person but if, that's, if they see that person is really improving them do do so that will uh, motivate them to also give you a resident permit a lot of people that have uh, this doodoo now they are no more ODA doodoo they are holding house bedroom doodoo they finish their two years uh, or three years uh, house bedroom so they will not receive a one years or two years house bedroom which resident permit uh, even if they call the uh, document house bedroom doodoo but you have to work towards it because now you finish your house bedroom you need to search for a job you don't have to stay at home because that uh, very document you are going to work towards that document so that that house bidding do do that do do that is hand of that um that statement will be removed and be called a resident permit so elegant yes that is just about this uh, do do of a thing so if you are having a do do it doesn't mean that uh, you'll be deported in a a twinkle of our eyes or you will be deported in the next few days in the next few months a lot of people do take this having a do do so be a, a big deal it's not a big deal you can have a do do it's also a document okay do do is a document i would say but i know a lot of people will be like no do do is not a document do do is a document you have this do do if there is no you have a doodoo. -doo. So other person also have a green advice of six months. You have a doodoo -doo of three months. This one has a resident permit of one year or two years, you know. And then you are also a monk. So anybody that, if you don't have a green advice or a doodoo, -doo, there is no way you are, you are in Germany. You have to register to be an asylum seeker so that you will be not, uh, noticed in Germany that this guy is part of us. So if you come to Germany today and you don't register your your information, you don't bring that yourself today. So there is no way there will no such person is living in our environment, except you went to a castle or other places that they are registering a a, um, a refugee. So those people they will register you and put you further. You will not be noticed. So they will not give you green advice, maybe three months or three months green advice or six months green advice so that green advice they will also tell you don't not to leave the environment that maybe they will take you to living house or maybe you'll be living with two people in a room you people will be living like if you are single people will be three people in the room and they, they will ask you not to leave that your facility because if you receive post just for you to be able to respond quickly as possible because if you happen not to stay at home there's no way you'll be noticed that these people send me a letter that is why they also say don't leave your facility it doesn't mean that uh, they're asking you not to leave your facility maybe they want to take you back to your country that is why they are asking you not to leave there it is just because they may that you may be receiving so that you'll be able to respond to them in time sometimes they, they do send you a letter to comfort and it serve you if you happen not to be at home there is no way you will see the letter so that is why they do ask people to stay in your facility back there i can remember when i came to germany me and my fiance so we were very very like living as a um, i would say uh, Yomi and Yulet, I don't know that name that time, Yemi or and Yulet, so we are just very close like this, going anywhere we are going, we go together, so we are literally not giving gap, don't even have friends, not family to visit, so we are just there, so till now we are still in Germany, so Germany has not done anything bad to us, I can't say for, for now, so yeah, we pray that things remain that way. Do I have any chance to stay in Germany even if I have a doo-doo? As I said in my previous video, you have a great chance. According to paragraph 60A, a silo at a toroletal stay permit, which is doo-doo, is issued for individuals who are in principle obliged to leave the country, but their departure is temporarily not 
feasible. The passion will not be possible for instance due to obstacle to deportation or other reason which necessitates the continuation of the person present in Germany. Deportation obstacle may include for instance a severe illness or the lack of identification paper. Other legitimate reason for your stay may be for example participating in, in a vocational training program or providing care for a sick relative in Germany. In addition to the do-do according to paragraph 60a, there are also special form of do-do such as house bedon do-do or beschäftigung do-do. So Eligan, as I said earlier, there are chance that you can live in Germany. You may have an underage child or maybe someone in your family or maybe you are a family, one of your child is sick or maybe your husband or your wife or your relative is sick, you know, you are just the one that is taking good care of this person. So because of that, you may be granted a resident permit because of the sick relative. But if you are not sick, maybe none of your children are sick, none of your family are sick. So there is no way you are definitely going to just say, uh, forge your sickness or the name of document and you can also go for a training and right now we are, we are talking about doo doo you can go for training you have doo doo for beschäftigung doo doo is for people who already are working if you are working in germany you have no criminal record i think i said that in my other video some time ago if you have a beschäftigung doo doo and if you are working definitely you are going to receive this uh, news from your lawyer at 2020 i think so or 19 there is this law that says if you have worked for 18 months, you have A2 certificate and you have your uh, working contract, you can apply for Beschäftigung Dudu. This uh, applies to people that have been working, even if you are a single, if you are also a family man, maybe your family and maybe your wife is the one working since you came to Germany, maybe the man is not working. Your wife can also apply for this uh, Beschäftigung Dudu, which the, uh, the Ganser family can also benefit from this uh, uh, resident permit of Beschäftigung Dudu. Beschäftigung Dudu is just like employment Dudu, like uh, your job will be involved as well. They give you the Beschäftigung Dudu and uh, you give them your Nigeria passport if you are for Nigeria. Any country you are from, you give them the passport, don't be scared. As far as uh, you give them your working contract, A2 certificate, you have no criminal record, and uh, don't be scared to give them your passport as well. I know of people who have given them, like almost three years, they give them their passport. The person is from Nigeria. They give them their passport. This person has a doo-doo for like uh, three years now, and they have given them their passport for like two years. This person is still working and still in Germany, but although he has not received his document, but this person is still in Germany without deportation. That's because this person has been uh following the rule and regulation no criminal record you know just doing your thing you know so and so on and so forth that is just it so if you have any if maybe you also have your own definition of doo doo what we can do different you can just leave your own thought in the comment section down below and uh, elegant i will see you elegant in my next video have a blessed wonderful day do make sure to stay blessed share this video for your friend and family and um, stay blessed bye bye